you're basically contributing to the to the smoking of of, of, of young adults Ooh. of young young people. I wouldn't say that. You, you wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. No. But they find because they don't. They, 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 they don't normally smoke. No, but they find what you've been smoking. Wow. So you're attacking me. Now. I'm not attacking you. I'm Ooh. just I'm just having an open debate about your uh, your habits. I don't know. Are, I guess I guess maybe it's potentially maybe. rubbing off on a on a younger community. Maybe. So basically, today we are heading to um, luxurious sunny Cheddar because we hear one of the most legendary smoking spots here um, is is in blue. But it's summer now; it's being used every day, and I want to get down there, see the locals. It's called Lloyd's, also known as Hurdles, otherwise known as the Alley. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually really interested to see what. See what's, see what's down there. What about you, Harry? What, what are you looking forward to? Well, I don't know. You know we've been chatting to some locals and they've, they've told us to be a bit wary, so I don't know what to expect, really. Yeah, I've had cheddars fairly rough, so... Yeah, so, Harry, um, when I was researching the, the spot, um, it, was just, it was saying that, like, people have been going there for, like, like donkey shit. Locally, it must be well thought of for loads of people to keep going. Yeah. What is it like? What are school kids or adults or what? I mean, at first, I thought it was mostly school kids, but uh, as it transpires, like school kids were still school kids like four years ago, so they've grown up with the spot. Not actually the fact that the product of tobacco is illegal. Um, but more of the fact that the people buying them, the persons buying them, are are underage, and I, I I'm interested to sort of get a view into their sort of lifestyle and how they have adapted um, in this sort of this urban jungle. Really, just heading up to the bank, I can see it. Here, yeah, uh, just see it down there. Oil four so far. I don't know. I'm just going to need to find out more. Right, here we are. There it is. Yeah. Just like it was on Google Maps. Heard was just there. Um, the local residents just pulled up. I'm actually quite interested to get his word on, on what he feels about people smoking. It looks like he's got a fag in his mouth. Got a fag in his that was our first taste of cheddar. We wanted to speak to that man about this famous spot that he told us to do one, so maybe that's a sign of what's to come. Obviously, this being our first time in cheddar, we don't want to rock, rock the boat too much. Exactly. Would you like to just follow me this way? Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five fag butts. Yeah, about foot, foot proximity, square foot proximity. So um, this is actually just the back of Lloyd's. Well, my reckoning is two entry points here. So it's obviously a well-trodden path over the years. I've heard this here is actually what they call uh, the rolling station. Goes. We've got some evidence there. Living proof. Rizzler Blue. Britain's. Most favourite rolling brand, Rizzler, um, showing its true colours here in Lloyd's. But what I'd like to do now, see if we can find some locals, hopefully not like that guy earlier, and delve a bit deeper into what possesses people to come every time. <laughs> had a tip off um, that a current uh, Lloyd smoker is actually at Lloyd spot now um, so me and Harry just going to pop on back on down to Lloyd's um, to meet him. Alright so the film uh, we're making is just about the culture surrounding Lloyd's, Lloyd's spot really. Mm -hmm. um, so if you just declare to the camera your 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 name 
and your age. So my name is Pat Emery and I'm 18 years old. Obviously this is a legendary spot, so how did you first hear about it? Uh, I believe I heard from it from Will Ouch first, one of the godfathers of Lloyd's. Okay. Would you say Lloyd's is in its prime now? It is in its prime. Yeah. I'd say it can only really go downhill from this. Right, okay. It's been pretty good. How often do you visit Lloyd's? Probably a couple of times a day when we're at school. Do you get a lot of, a lot of young, younger ones asking you? We don't. No? No. 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 They stay out of our way. Always. They stay out of your way. They do. Because yeah. I know that a lot of the younger children, I say children, about 12 upwards, come here and they do smoke. Um, and we were just looking into sort of like the way they get hold of their, their product. Oh, that's nothing to do with us. Nothing to do with you. They yeah. probably just find it right on the floor. Do you leave a lot of fag butts? I I do when I have to. So you you're basically contributing to the to the smoking of of, of, of young adults, Ooh. of young young people. I wouldn't say that. You, you wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. No. But they find because they, 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 they don't normally smoke. No, but they find what you've been smoking. Wow. So you're attacking me now. I'm not attacking you. I'm Ooh. just I'm just having an open debate about your Fair your enough. habits. I don't know. I guess I guess maybe it's potentially maybe. rubbing off on a on a younger community. Maybe. How does that make you feel? Uh, a bit sad. Does it? Just Thank you for your time. That's right. Thank you for interviewing me. It's been lovely meeting you. Yeah. And yeah, um, me and you, I see. Hope you have a good day. I will. I'll probably just stay here now. Yeah. Yeah. Like have a day. Maybe have a few more. All right. Just, just sit back, relax. All right, All right mate. Enough. Enjoy it. See you later. See you later, mate.